Okay, I think we have uh, time for one more, HIV versus AIDS. This is one that the students always had a problem with. I remember I, I really enjoyed talking about this, too, because it's a question that comes up over and over again. So they have a, a practice question um, that they had they got wrong. A 20 year old HIV positive patient was admitted to the hospital observation bed by his PCP for stomach cramps and diarrhea. After tests were completed, the PCP determined that his stomach cramps and diarrhea were a result of staphylococcal food poisoning. Select the appropriate di diagnosis codes for this patient. And then they gave us a list of choices. Now, after I go over some of the basics, you're going to be able to just eyeball this and be able to pull out the correct code really easily. So I repeated the code in question. There's, our, there's the questions. OK, um, the first thing you need to ask yourself, does your patient have HIV or AIDS? Because it's two separate codes. If your person has AIDS, it's VO8, and it has to be confirmed. If they are HIV positive, it's 042. You never want to give your patient AIDS unless it's confirmed. Because remember, not only are you diagnosing, are you using these for diagnoses for the provider, but it's also for statistics. And also, like we had talked about with uh, diabetes and stuff, once you give somebody a diagnosis, it's really hard to get it taken off of their record. So it's two separate things. HIV uh, is not AIDS. Okay. Now, what made your patient sick? Okay. Staphylococcus was 005.0 when we looked it up. Did I spell that wrong? <laughs> I can't help it. I have to fix it. <laughs> and um, the... Uh, uh, let's see, Clostridia, Clostridia is 005.3. Now, in, uh, is it an AIDS-related diagnosis? That's the next thing, you, another thing you need to ask yourself. Because there are certain things that a person that's HIV positive, that once they get one of these other diagnoses, then their HIV is automatically turned into AIDS. Okay, and that's all in your guidelines, but I'm not going to try to pronounce those specifics. Um, they are in the guidelines in your book, but this particular type of uh, pneumonia and this uh, uh, Kaposi uh, sarcoma and stuff, that's a type of cancer. If a person is HIV positive and they get this diagnosis, those, uh, that means their HIV has turned into full blow dates. Okay, so our person doesn't have that. They have a staphylococcal um, um, bacteria that's made them sick. The most important thing you need to know is placement, and your guidelines are very clear about placement on HIV and AIDS coding. So if a person is admitted for HIV-related condition, the 042, it's coded first, and the condition second. If a person is admitted for non-related HIV, the 042 condition, it is coded first and the HIV second. Okay, So what this means is when you know number three is uh, then A and D on our selections, you can throw those out because uh, your person came in for food poisoning and they have HIV. So it's not an HIV related or AIDS related um, diagnosis. It has nothing to do with the AIDS, so the o, I mean the HIV. So the O42 is not going to be coded first. And uh, when you looked at those lists, two of those uh, had the O42 first, and the other two had them second. And then you know, um, then you can go in and you you wouldn't do the HIV and the VO8. Uh, it it all boils down to that you can throw them out and C is your right answer. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.